All right, here, we're joined here by Ryan Ro Rosenthal and Adam Rockwood. Guys, thanks for showing up. I know it was a tough loss tonight against the Alberni Valley Bulldogs, but uh, what positives can you take out of this one, especially with that late rally? Um, I think, like you said, the late rally. Um, I mean, when we're down 5-1 and the final score is 6-4, um, I think we can totally control the last half of the game. Um, I mean, we kind of gave them two or three goals at the start, and um, it's tough to come back from that. Um, they kind of just sat on their lead. I'll give them credit. They did a good job, and um, but I'll give ourselves credit. I mean, we uh, we pushed. We kept pushing, and I mean, we got three, three or four in the third. So um, we we showed that we can you know score when we can, and uh, we just need to let we we can't let as many goals in. And Ryan, what did you think of the game tonight as well? Um, I've thought so far that this losing streak has been sort of a wake-up call for us because we haven't been ready for our games in our own building. So uh, basically we need to work on coming out stronger, being more ready, and, and really wanting it more than the other team. So uh, the positive things from tonight was just, like Adam said, our rally in the second and third, just coming back strong and really fighting to try to get the win. Uh, obviously, though, with the loss, there are some things you want to work on. What personally, Adam, do you think uh, you want to look at for next game? Um, personally, for my game, um, I just think, I mean, the team looks to our line to kind of score goals. And, uh, I, I mean, we got two tonight, but uh, clearly, I mean, uh, it's not enough. Um, I think we could, I could be better in the D zone, uh, win a couple more draws. But um, all in all, I thought I had a pretty pretty good performance I mean um, yeah just the D zone probably and uh, a little bit of the face offs I guess all right moving past the game tonight and now it's been a pretty good season so far um, Ryan what's it like to captain this team it seems like you guys are having a lot of fun playing uh, the game of hockey out there and uh, is it that way on the ice for you guys as well yeah, it's definitely a really fun group of guys, uh, all different types of kids, young kids, uh, a bunch of kids my age. Uh, we're from all over the place, so it's really something to talk about all the time. Uh, we got a guy from Philly, a guy from Pittsburgh. It's a nice rivalry there, so we have fun with each other. Uh, it's obviously never fun losing like this, but we have a strong group, so I think that we're going to bounce back pretty soon here And uh, once we fix our, our minor issues. Uh, Adam, I noticed the uh, blue tape and blue laces on the uh, equipment tonight. Is it safe to say you guys will be doing Movember this year? Uh, yeah, some of the guys are. I mean, clearly I can't, but the uh, guy beside me is, um, he's, yeah, he's pretty uh, He's pretty into it. Uh, some, I mean, like Matt Barry and uh, Mark Biega especially, that guy can grow a stash. So, uh you're going to see some pretty wild stashes. Like last year we had Mark Baggert. I think he was voted the best stash in the league. And I, I have a strong feeling we're going to have somebody uh, win it this year again. We're going to have you guys on throughout this month, and it's definitely going to be interesting. And we'll be asking that question of everyone as well. Um, now, here, Ryan, here's a chance to uh, say some nice things about your alignment here. What makes his uh, passing ability um, what, what do you take out of it? I mean, uh, we saw it tonight on that goal and that pass to uh, Santucci. What makes him such a great passer and uh, have such good vision out on the ice? Yeah, uh, like you just said, he has really good vision and really good patience. He finds space for himself and he can see things that most other people can't see uh, at all angles. So he could be looking one way, but he still sees a guy like Santucci open back door yeah. for a great pass. Uh, Adam, tonight you uh, had the pleasure, or maybe not, I don't know, of taking on uh, former teammate Justin Georgeson. What was that like for you? Oh, uh, George, he's a great guy. Um, I mean, he's so well liked by everyone I know. I don't know a guy who says a bad thing about him. Uh, he's, you know, he's a really good player. I don't think he's gotten a fair chance in the league yet. Um, this year, obviously, he, he is playing first line center. Um, I'm really happy for the guy. Um, obviously, I want him back, but um, it was an unfortunate trade, and um, it was really nice to see him. I mean, he's a good buddy of mine, and um, I just wish him the best. I mean, he's a great guy. And uh, Ryan, we've noticed that you played most of your uh, minor league hockey in the States. Um, what's it like playing here in Canada, playing in the BCHL? And uh, don't say the bus rides, because I know you'll be lying about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, it's a bit of a transition. Uh, before here, I played at prep school in Connecticut, which was a more uh, running gun style of hockey. <clears throat> uh, and then, and then I, last year I was at University of Vermont, and college, like like most of you know, was also running gun, uh, really hard defensive hockey. And the BCHL is a pretty offensive league, so uh, if you have defensive lapses, teams are going to capitalize. So um, we really got to pay attention to that detail. Uh, and then, obviously, it's fun to get points too. And Adam, are you glad to have him here? Oh yeah, uh, Ryan's uh, quickly become one of my good friends, and uh, I mean, obviously he's on my line. He, you know, we develop quick chemistry, me, him, and Corey. And um, I mean, I think what's special about our line is we're, we're all pretty good friends, um, hang out pretty much every day, and that obviously helps on the ice too. So, uh, Adam, last year you kind of uh, bust onto the scene. You had a great uh, shootout goal made on uh, TSN. And uh, among other things, you really uh, made your way onto the team. And how does it feel now to be playing on the top line for your home team? Um, it feels, uh, I mean, I, at the end of last year, I mean, um, I kind of I kinda knew, you know, the offensive uh, load would be placed on my shoulders because some of the guys leaving, like Seymour, like Jordison, um, I mean, Nardi, all them, Phil. And Kerfoot, they're all gone, right? So um, I had a feeling I'd be at least top six. Um, I didn't know I'd be top line right away, but um, I mean, I, I I love it. I love uh, the opportunity Barry gives us, and um, he just has full full trust in us. And um, we gotta we gotta start coming up uh, big here because he's putting a lot of faith in us. And um, you know, we gotta we gotta make sure uh, we're scoring because. I mean, we can't uh, let any more games go, really. Yeah, I'm sure that will happen now. Quickly going to wrap it up here. Um, do you guys have a favorite player or a team or someone you model yourself out there? Start off with you, Adam. Uh, yeah, I love Patrick Kane. Um, I really like, I mean, I got a couple guys. I like Patrick Kane just because, you know, the flash. But I also love the Sedins. Um, I think I play a lot like Henrik. Personally, um, you know, patient and look for uh, passing. And uh, I also, I mean, I grew up uh, looking at Martin St. Louis as a role model. I mean, I've always been tiny. Uh, now I'm, I mean, I wouldn't call myself average. Like, I'm just probably under. But um, the guy's got, like, the heart of gold. And, you know, he's just, he's so, he works so hard. And he finally got to see this year. And, um, I mean, I have so much respect for that guy. And um, favorite team, probably. I'd say Vancouver, and I like Chicago, too. And you? Uh, growing up in New Jersey, I'm a Devils fan, and uh, I've always modeled my game after Patrick Eliash, and that's why I wear number 26 also. All right. For uh, Robin Batchelor, I'm a Monagahi. Uh, and again, another thanks to uh, Ryan Rosenthal and Adam Rockwood for joining us, and uh, tune in next week when we have two new players on. Thank you.